teach woodworking on a regular basis. And for years that meant lugging my tools around in a canvas tote. Well, I finally got around to building a tool chest to take along with me. But you don't have to be a traveling woodworker to make good use of a chest like this. While a wall hung cabinet, like the one behind me, is a great option, it takes up a lot of wall space. If you don't have a dedicated shop yet, or have to stow your tools, a chest like this just might be your solution. Now obviously I couldn't fit all of my hand tools in the chest, so let me show you which ones made the cut. Up top I have a deep well that holds my hand planes and my back saws. Simple pine dividers keep all my hand planes safe and snug. I've got a five and four bench plane, one set up for a heavier cut and one for a final finish. I have a bevel up smoother for tackling end grain and shooting parts to length, as well as a trusty block plane. Of course I have a shoulder plane for truing up all my joinery and a block of scrapers. And in the back, my hand saws fit nicely into slotted wooden blocks. I've got a cross cut and rip saw, as well as a Japanese saw for flush trim work. A 12 inch combination square and a coping saw round everything out. In addition, I've got a special place for a key, which unlocks my drawers. The upper drawer is outfitted with partitions. I've got a set of bench chisels, as well as a pair of skew chisels for dovetail work, and a wide chisel for all-around work. In addition, I have a spoke shave and my marking and measuring tools. The bottom drawer, I didn't worry about partitions. Instead, I have some trays and boxes that organize a lot of smaller odds and ends. One tray stores all my sharpening gear. I can take that out and head right over to my sharpening station. I've also got a box that houses all the hardware for any project I happen to be working on. And finally, I've got a first aid kit because whenever I talk in woodwork, inevitably, I cut myself. I built the case from butternut, which is as light as pine, but it sure looks a lot nicer. The case is joined with dovetails and through mortise and tenon joinery. And the drawer fronts are made from brown oak for a little contrast, but also a little more screw purchase for the half mortise locks. The top is built from frame and panel joinery. And to round things off, I have some iron ring poles and cast iron trunk hardware. Now, at 60 pounds, it's easy enough to lift, but not too fun to carry. So I built a simple rolling cart that saves my back and lets me hit the road in style. <laughs>